to find other ways to help people. If people's consumption is inadequate, uh, we need, uh, I, I will support uh, transfers for that consumption. I've always favored not an income tax, but a tax in which you get to deduct from your income consumption and savings. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, savings and investment. You deduct from your income any direct savings or any direct investments you make, like when you buy, buy securities. You get to deduct that. And the reason is that that savings and investment, if I, as long as I don't consume it, it's out working for everybody. And there's a lot of complaints about the savings rate being so low in the United States. Well, of course, we tax it. If we tax income, you're also taxing uh, saving. And that could be a negative consumption tax. Below a poverty level of consumption, we could have uh, a, a, a rebates in which people get uh, would, would be given a supplement. They, w they could be free to save that, and we wouldn't take it away mm -hmm. from them, OK? And, and I think that would encourage uh, accumulation of capital in, among the poor. Poor, you know, th there's, there's poor, middle, and rich, and it keeps changing. There are poor that rise. There are people that are uh, higher up, and they get into difficulties, and they fall into the poor class. That's not a static distribution that's constantly changing. Uh, people that are quite, ha have gotten into riches sometimes make mistakes and they lose a lot of money and they're back down in the middle of class and that's the way life is. Uh, so that's, that's the way I would deal with a long-term problem and I would stay out of the business of trying to help people through, through housing. 